in which they were tracking, which I True. think is the entire life of the game. True, and yeah, MVD definitely had some very, very good uh, results uh, near the beginning of the game and uh, throughout the game. He had some a couple tournaments that did not work well in his favor, but uh, you know what, man? Like, you can't you can't say that the man didn't do work uh, throughout the history just because of a couple bad tournaments, basically. Oh, oh, certainly. He's proven himself. He has the sponsor, so he can always just say, you know what? Here I am. I'm sponsored. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> Right now, though, we'll see what he can do against Zenodo. Zenodo, once again, one of the most innovative ditties of our time. Uh, yes, sir. I want to see what uh, what he's going to make up of this matchup right now. Nice stuff. Down tilt to down smash to get that good damage. Turn around, get that banana, and still keeping the assault up at the same time. But now MVD gets a grab back. <laughs> Immediate mirror bananas. But good pressure on the platform here. Fourth throw. I wanted to go for forward smash. I wonder if that would have worked. Hmm. Okay, looking for. He was definitely looking for a roll on right there. Um, yeah, it's another not gonna budge on that at all. I mean, I don't mind it. It wasn't that very high risk. Yeah, and it was pretty high reward. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't—he wasn't gonna. Yeah, he, he only got punished with a four there, so I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It was kind of a wild read to go for in the way where I—I I felt like he didn't really put enough pressure to force that roll on. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, as you said, high risk. Uh, I mean, high reward, low risk. MVD catching the landing there as a noto as well, with that up smash to seal out the stock. And MVD's looking pretty crisp right now. Yeah. There we go. Gets back to the taxi platform. That's why Diddy's like this matchup, they can just, you know... Or, I'm sorry, not the matchup, the stage. It's so they can just retreat to the taxi platform. As they do have a semi-gimpable recovery if they're forced to go for barrels. True. That was good. Good DI right there by uh, MVD, by the way, getting out of that. Up smash! Not gonna get out of that one, though. So persistent. Yeah. Just keep going for it until it works, man. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. D-tilt's pretty safe. Yeah. No, we're back in this neutral here. Um, I think that is Zenoda's banana that they're juggling between each other. Yeah, it's, uh, MVD just pulled out his banana right there. Kicking through that situation too, getting the banana throw as uh, Zenodo tries to land on stage right there with that side B. Diddy Kong is one of the only characters that really can punish that side B from as far away as Zenodo did it. Yeah. He like crossed him up over his shield, landed a half a stage away, and MVD still punished it. Yeah. I MVD mean, doing a good job right here, keeping this pressure up, but he's starting. Uh, he's missing a couple of his key grabs, to get that extra damage. Regardless, though, he's still got a uh, decent lead, about 30% now. Back Ooh. throw coming out here, just wants to get him off stage. Yeah. And so Noah's got this platform, trips over that banana. And now they're just gonna scramble here. That's a good option, but oh my god, the double down tilt. That's a good option too, though, to, to, to throw uh, whatever your opponent is off stage, just so you have enough time to get that banana out and uh, make it really hard for them to land later on. Oh, certainly, people. Uh, they sometimes they underestimate how important stage control is. Oh yeah. Even if you're a character that doesn't really get anything off of a grab, like Cloud gets very little off of grabs, of course. Mm -hmm. But his throws still give you stage control, and then if you put them off on the side of the stage, you can go for like an edge guard opportunity, and you can create a lot here. Oh no! Oh my God! The MVD barely living that one right there. He he was about to be caught on that platform yet again. Like the taxi platform, as you say, man, it's just really uh really sometimes it's <laughs> just like your best friend and your worst enemy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> It giveth and it taketh away. Oh yeah, there's the back, the fourth row right there, but not enough to finish just yet. On the, the back, back row. Again. Oh, ooh, okay, so he, he let's cancel that. That was safe. That was clean from MVD, and clean to get out of it as well from Zenodo. Oh, looking for the backwards though, but he actually went back on stage. Still living. Sour spotted it. Yeah, lucky, lucky for MVD. Uh huh. He's got new life here. He no banana though. Now he's got it. Thank you, Taxi Platform. Yeah, give him that extra time. The bananas clash right there. No bananas on the field. I was going to see who was going to drop one first. It looked like, you know, honestly, it looked, the way the MVD waited Ooh. for that. Good oh! Gets out of it. What a punish. Wow, MVD clutching that one out. He stared death in the face. Oh, my God. SDI'd it and found the game. He SDI'd it and on top of that still was not flustered to the point where he knew he could at least throw out that four there and get that, uh, that hit. Good stuff. Like, I feel like a lot of people would have would have air dodged down right there. Mm -hmm. And he's like, nah, man, I'm coming down with this aggressive option. Hold this forward air. On the left side, too. Uh, so close to that blast, or so close to the edge of the stage, you know he was going to get that. All right, well, now we're on the Midwest Classic, just running back to Smashville. No counter picking here between these two. Um, MVD starting off with the combo and with the stage control, and now he's got a banana for his trouble. He's facing back airs, back and forth here. MVD off to a hot start. Yeah, definitely off to a good start right here. I mean, he was uh, he, he had a good start at the uh, uh, first game as well. But, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it still became a close game. Just as usual. I feel like this is what happens in this uh, matchup in general. Just one Diddy 
finally gets that uh, that first banana to hit, and then they just get so much off of the fact that they, they just have these clean BNBs that they're going to get them up to like one, it's like 100, right? And then the other Diddy finally gets a chance to shine. <laughs> yeah, it's it's almost like a Marvel matchup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like you get comboed into forever, you lose that character, and then you come back with your next character and shine. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Zenodo having trouble, but yeah, he gets shielded on that forward smash. That's going to give him the stage. Yeah. Right now, MVD, though, uh, coming through yet again. Looking for that. Oh, got it. Just just shy of the banana, too. Like, that was that was like the right uh, moment that he actually needed to throw out the up smash. And he still tripped on it later, but that's because he had to land. But the up smash, you know, keeping you in the air just enough for you not to, uh, or to complete the move. Tripping before. on a banana while your opponent is star KOing is a yeah. trade I will take 100% of the time. Of course. Because Noah's got to find an answer. I, if I'm not mistaken, we're now in best of five land, right? I'm pretty sure we're in best of five. If we're in yeah. top eight, yeah. Yeah, this is top eight. This is a best of five, Diddy Ditto. Oh, monkey flip. Wow. He's another try to get out of the grab with the roll, but then he didn't grab it all. Okay. Both of them tripping that banana. Just reset the neutral as well. Getting out the way right here. Looking for the uh, down tilt, but it sent it the wrong way. Then I was still, he still managed to uh, go the right way. Like, he went left and then he immediately uh, ran back, but he caused too much space between them. Mm -hmm. Very good dashing in and out. Like, th these guys know when to turn on and off the aggression. Yeah. And at the moment, MVD is getting the better end of it. Oh, he's he is really looking for this. Oh, there it is. The F smash. I don't have to finish, though. Maybe if he was at the edge. Ooh. See, he dropped a bear. I like it. That was clean. That MVD up, has so much control of the stage right now. Yeah. I, lo I love that move. That will not kill yet. You know, landing with that forward air, getting him out of trouble. But he has so much work to do, and you kind of feel like it, like when you're behind versus a Ness, you just kind of feel like imminent death is always near. That's where Zenodo's at right now. He does get the back throw. Yeah. Uh, MVD, MVD landing uh, at the wrong spot right there, just immediately getting back throw. But at 147, man, I mean, MVD could probably do the same thing uh, to him right now if he managed to get like a pivot grab on the ledge and just uh, finish him as well. But right now, man, here, here's that aggression and that uh, momentum we were always talking about when it, one Diddy starts to uh, start to bring him yeah. either bring himself back into the game or uh, run away with it. Four throw. Here, wow. Delivered. Man, when you lose rage. Oh, no. Zenodo, you have got, you have got to control yourself <laughs> off this stage, man. This is like. The fifth FD, uh, SD this tournament. Like, what are you doing? That was an unfortunate fast fall there from Zenodo. I think he was trying to just make sure he got out of whatever pressure situation MVD was in, but then he just went too far. Yeah, he just went a little bit too far right there. That's so unfortunate for, uh, for Zenodo. But let's see what he can do right here on this third game. To keep his tournament life alive, Yeah, he's got to win three in a row here against MVD. And he's switching out to Town and Diddy, as you said earlier. <laughs> Town and Diddy, the sequel. On um, the guard dogs watching stoically. <laughs> Over this particular game. Oh, all right. Oh, is that is that the girl with the drawn on face? Does that uh, change? Yes. I just now that's why she's that. got a mustache. Does that change a lot? Uh, I, man, I gotta start playing the stage more often. I, I've just now because like, I know the background changes every now and then, but I've never seen her in it. Anyway, <laughs> see what uh, I, that, that gets me hype, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I always like Animal Crossing for about three weeks, and then and then I I realize that game is a job, and I stop playing. Yeah, that's <laughs> you're not wrong. It's like it's like the original free to play game before free to play games came out. Like, <laughs> yeah. like it's pre Farmville Farmville. Oh man. Good times. <laughs> anyway, man, we we have a pretty <laughs> even game right here between Zenodo and uh, MVD. Uh, once again, as you said, MVD up 2 0. Zenodo has to come back with a three oh or a three oh run back basically. Oh MVD. But, oh, oh, nice. Good catch, yeah. Oh, he's just giving him all the all the fists right now. Yeah, <laughs> and Zenodo. It is rare to see Zenodo struggle to land with all these moving options. Whoa! He blew him up right there. He blew that up. Like, he knew he was going to drop off that ledge if he ran off. And uh, that he called that out. No, he didn't two-frame uh, that. He um he grabbed a ledge, and so he ran off. And then Zenodo let go of the ledge, probably trying to punish him for Oh, he uh, went, he went to, like, drop jump fair or something, Yeah, right? and then, okay. uh, but he was already there with the back air the minute he let go of that ledge. So he lost that uh, for just being a little too aggressive off stage. Like, once MVD ran off, he probably should have just rolled on real rap. MVD has got to be in Zenodo's head right now. Yeah. So now probably is a little flustered too because of the fact that he's giving up all these socks to himself. Mm -hmm. uh, like an SD at the last, oh, at the end of game two, knowing that uh, you needed, uh, knowing that you probably needed that game to get yourself back in here. Uh, yeah. yeah, that could definitely fluster someone. The difference between 2-0 and 1-1 is huge. Yeah. Cannot be understated. Like you don't have any more counter picks uh, uh, after going down 2-0. So it's just like, what are you going to do now? You have to play by the game Their that rules. your opponent sets up. Yeah. 
Alright, so the Denaro does have MVD's banana. Nice catch! I'm not sure what MVD was trying to do there with that up B. That was that must have been a tech error right there. That just didn't I think so. really look too characteristic of him. So to land on the platform like that at the very least, that was just it was like that was not safe at all. Mm -hmm. Either way. Here comes Zenodo back though. He needs to make a statement here. Yeah. He's getting himself back into the game quite well right here, 43 to 84. Oh, both of those bananas. bananas. Ooh. He's still going though. He has even this game up immensely. And MVD finally started to get some damage on ever since Zenodo's came back. He got managed to get that forward air uh, in the mix. And so no, I don't know whose banana that is off the top of my head here. Okay, it is just MVD's banana. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice jump right there by Zenodo. Zenodo almost pulling back into the lead right here. Well, actually, yeah, almost pulling back into the lead right here. <laughs> and shield is a pretty good move. That's it. Yeah, that's going to be it. MVD takes it 3-0 over Zenodo. I, I don't Someone just yelled, and I don't know if that was actually MVD or not. I, I, think, it, I think it was. <laughs> Okay. I think as we said here, that was a pretty statement win for yeah. MVD. Like, I think he know like, he's he's a pretty popular Twitter guy. Mm -hmm. He is, I'm sure he got some some flack for the the Zenodo MVD thing, and I'm, I I know I think he really wanted that win, and he takes it. Yeah, he definitely needed statement it. Statement victory for MVD. Make it make sure that you know those rankings are correct, basically, in your.